Well, it's a big topic right now in Florida, getting rid of permanent alimony after a divorce. There's a proposal to make it based on how long someone was married. But as Mike Vesalinda tells us, there's a controversial provision in it. Permanent alimony would end under the legislation. It would be replaced with a formula based on the length of a marriage. And for the first time, the change is being supported by the family law section of the Florida Bar. This is something the section has historically opposed, but we believe the time has come to move away from this concept of permanent alimony. The most controversial provision says the issue of child custody begins with the presumption that parents will share time equally. Uh, what would happen is you would have a, 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 a huge hurdle, this presumption, before you even get to the consideration of the 20 factors. Before the bill was approved by the House Civil Justice Subcommittee, the sponsor said there was one goal. To ensure that this leads to a better system that provides predictability, that provides certainty and fairness. Anna Escamani voted no. When you have this 50-50 assumption, it can tie a judge's hand. The sponsor twice refused to talk with us about the legislation. What we would have asked is why the sponsor included the presumption that parents would share children equally. That has killed the bill in the past. And Florida Now told us the threat of child sharing is often used as leverage. To get them to agree to something that is not in their financial, economic interest or the child's. The legislation also creates an avenue for the payer of alimony to seek to lower the amount or end it altogether when someone reaches retirement. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, Channel 4, the local station. Under current Florida law, a judge evaluates 17 to 20 factors to decide child custody. It would remain, but the fear is it will take a seat, a backseat to the 50-50 sharing provision.